Hello everyone, this is Alex for Green Soda and today I just wanted to give you a little quick tip about a color utility that uh, many people aren't aware of and uh, I think it's it's really helpful and uh, it may help it's helped me before to create transformations between one texture and another so uh, the first thing I'm going to go ahead is uh, go ahead and create a Lambert shader and uh, on this Lambert shader uh, I will be connecting a color utility on the color menu. So let's go ahead and look for that. Uh, the color utility is uh, the one that we're looking for is the blend colors. So under software notes, go ahead and search for color utilities and look for blend colors. So if you open that up on the attribute editor, you'll see on the attribute editor, you'll see that we have what's called the blender, which uh, I think of as opacity for either color 1 or color 2. So we're going to go ahead and create a poly plane right now and scale them up. There's a shade. Let's get rid of the grid for a second. So if we go ahead and apply the Lambert to, to the poly plane and attach the blend colors to the color attributes on Lambert. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by uh, middle click and dragging the blend colors onto the colors attribute. So immediately you see what we get is a purple. And what's happening here if we open the, color, the blend colors is that we're getting uh, for color one a red and for color two a blue. So if you see if, if I give less intensity to the red we go more towards the blue. And uh, if I go all the way to black we get a darker blue. And uh, that. And now the blender, as I said before, is kind of like an opacity. So if we switch to zero, we go to the color two. But if I go ahead and switch to one, we we go to color one. So you may use this for transformations. Um, and I've used it before to to kind of give a feeling of a time lapse video for for maybe an old wall that was freshly painted and uh, as the animation goes by the, the wall starts to deteriorate. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to do that. Uh, the first thing you'll need is actually a uh, file texture. So I'm going to go ahead and do 2D textures. I'm going to go ahead and look for file. What you want to go ahead and do is actually uh, connect it to the Lambert, uh, actually to the blend colors. So select whichever of the two, color one or color two. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to color one. Uh, reset the blender to 0.5. And uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and load up the file for our file texture. I'm going to turn off the filter. And what I'm looking for is a crackle texture. So if we go ahead and uh, your render, bring it up for high quality rendering, we get a better look at the texture. And uh, if we go to the blend colors and go all the way to one, uh, you see that what we're getting is just uh, a texture that has been set to color one. Uh, so if we go ahead and under color two, select the color uh, which would resemble uh, something close to the texture itself. So we're going to select the picker and select somewhere close to whatever it's, it's our other texture. And if we go all the way to zero now, you see this could be used as I was saying before, as, as if uh, this wall was freshly painted and whatnot. Um, if, if you animate, let's say we go ahead and, and right click in the blender and set a key okay, in frame 1, and then at frame 12, we go ahead and, and set a key uh, at, frame, at frame 12 uh, at blender at a value of 1. So if we go ahead and rewind it to 12, and then rewind and play, you see what we're getting is a. Uh, it, it's aging a long time, and of course you, you would want to refine this uh, this effect. Uh, but you see where I'm going with this, and uh, many people aren't aware. And uh, sometimes uh, you'd have to render, uh, let's say, this plane twice—one with a 
for the regular color and my one with the crackle texture and then compositing, bring one of them on top of the other and then animate uh, the opacity of one over the other. But uh, you can actually get this effect in the 3D environment and I thought it was a uh, really, really nice little tip that I sent your way. So uh, that would be it for today and uh, 